days out. It's raining again. Uh, in fourth gear. That's going okay. That's really annoying. Um, Countryside wind. consists of mist and dead trees by the looks of things. We're, we're a little bit interested, we're interested, maybe slightly concerned about what the traffic's going to be like in Madrid. We've heard quite a few rumours. It's a little bit chaotic. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Well, we're somewhere in these crazy Spanish mountains. And there appears to be fog. <coughs> we can tell there's fog because we can't see a few car lengths in front. The locals still insist on driving at particular speed, so... Um, so we'll do which our best we can't, to do the same. <laughs> <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> as best as this poor little thing can do. No go cars come out fast behind us. Average about 120. Don't worry, we got the fog lights on. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're doing 80 at the moment. <laughs> oh, there goes the curb. <laughs> into the night through the Spanish town of Malaga, down the coast to our hotel near Tarifa, Mason de Sancho. We had driven 2,000 kilometers on a broken car to meet the rest of the crew on time. And of course we were the last to arrive and we were met with a chorus of, I never expected to see you again. But this didn't stop us from celebrating. The next day we, we had a day off, so we headed into Gibraltar to brave the monkeys and the traffic before coming home to rest for our big day tomorrow, crossing into Morocco. So we've just exited the party <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, so Tarifa, we've just crossed on the ferry, and uh, we're now in Tangiers. We have to go this way for some reason. Probably they want to search us. <laughs> and then we have to go through customs, which would be interesting. It's meant to be quite an ordeal, about well, quite a few hours, isn't it, yeah. Chris? <laughs> Five days max. <laughs> um, hopefully it's all going to go well, and uh, we're going to stay in maybe Fez or... No idea. Yeah. Somewhere. Uh, maybe only a few hours from uh, from here, so hopefully this won't take so long. I'll have a bit of time to kick back, but it looks like it's going to be a gruelling process. We eventually made it through after about an hour, with the exception of the Kiwis who refused to bribe the officials and got held up for two and a half hours. We had to find our own way through Morocco. Most teams were taking the shortest route straight down the coast, but for some reason the girls thought this was too easy. So they set us a, an extra challenge. They wanted to cross the Atlas Mountains and drive through the gorge to cross them again, heading back into Marrakesh to head to the coast. I wasn't completely convinced this was the best route to take on a broken car. But if I wasn't convinced, other teams were less so. And eventually we left with us, the girls, and the Kiwis. The other 15 teams had decided to take the easy route. <laughs> We've just arrived in uh, Tangiers. Uh, the driving is very interesting. The vehicles are pretty interesting. This one that's down on the right here, can't zoom in, but uh, it's actually leaking a lot. I'm not sure too much what it is, but it's leaking. 
but that's how you drive around in Tangiers. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty interesting. We're following the girls, hoping they know where we're going. And we've got the Kiwis in tow. Kiwis are... Our plan was to get to the town of Meknes, which wasn't as simple as it seemed. We've um, gone off the main road, somewhere along the lines, and uh... <laughs> seems like the girls don't really know where they're taking us at the moment. Mm, we've ended up in some marketplace where we have to stop for donkeys that are crossing in front of us. And the streets seem to be getting smaller and smaller. It's just a lot more people on them. <laughs> oh, check out all the stairs. Oh, Holy, that's true. Cool. You people just don't want it anymore, Chris. I guess. We'll keep our eye open for jerry cans. Because <laughs> we need some. Oh, coffee house. Crazy ass pet. Yeah. Oh look, there's a police officer in the middle of the road. That's good to know. Oh, the food smells good though. Oh! We eventually did make it to Magnus, which is a city built of concentric walls, making navigation almost impossible. I hope you just go straight through. Huh. This is odd. Truly lost now. Paul think, is concerned. <laughs> I think we're doomed to drive these streets for eternity. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm almost certain we've been here before. Oh, uh, we're getting oh asking for directions and we're getting honked from behind. It's like a social faux pas. We're not allowed to go right, I think. Wow. Well, it looks like I'll like kids, man. Like a university or something. Oh <laughs> yeah. really? Oops! <laughs> what do you mean, Oops? We eventually did find the campground and spent a bitterly cold night in the campsite until the next day when we drove on to the Atlas Mountains. 